Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share an updated day in my life, a quarantine routine, basically what I've been doing this last year and trying to stay healthy physically, mentally, spiritually. So I wanna thank Ritual for sponsoring this video. They are the multivitamin that I take and love. I have a code that you can check out in the description and I'll talk more about it in this video. But yeah, I just wanna share with you what I've been up to and I hope you enjoy. I'll go ahead and jump right in. I try to make it a goal, not every day, but definitely to have a few days where I wake up before the rest of my family. And some days I really feel like I need sleep, but uh, here I am waking up and instead of just scrolling on my phone, usually my phone is in airplane mode in a totally different area of the house. So when I first wake up, I actually try to read for a little bit. Uh, and then I'll get up and go make a cup of coffee or uh, if I'm gonna have some green juice and get on with my day. But I've been doing a lot of reading this year and I try to squeeze it in, usually in the mornings or at night. So if I'm up before everyone else, I of course go outside and feed the animals because they're very hungry. I let them out and they run around, go to the bathroom, get fed. And then I sort of mosey through the garden, check out the property. It's always really crisp in the morning. I love watching the sunrise and looking at the garden. Our goal was to start working on pasture for the goats on our hill this spring. So we're gonna get a big rain this weekend and we're gonna start that project very soon. So we're excited for them to have an enclosed grazing area. I'll keep you posted on that. But uh, yeah, just kind of getting started and enjoying time with the animals, walking through the garden, and then I come back inside and get started. I do love a hot cup of blonde roast pour over coffee in the mornings. It is something I really look forward to. Uh, but some mornings I can just feel that that's not what my body needs. So I end up giving myself celery juice. So I'll wake up and do celery juice. And I do this occasionally, but not every day. Just whenever, again, whenever I feel like my body needs it. And some days I'll go a few days in a row doing celery juice and then maybe I'll go back to coffee. But I've kept my morning routine really simple with just some coffee and I'll usually make myself a, a breakfast. Um, I recently shared some of the breakfast ideas that I like to do, eggs and sprouted toast or um, yogurt or oats. I tend to reach for the same thing for breakfast. Part of my reading this week was Ecclesiastes, which I really loved because it talks about how there's a time and a season for everything. So that was really encouraging and that definitely resonates with me because sometimes I think there's a time for hustle and sometimes I think there's a time to just slow down and look inward and really stay in the present moment. So whenever I eat my breakfast, after that is when I take my vitamins. A multivitamin has been a part of my routine for years, but I have a hard time finding one that doesn't make me feel nauseous. So when I found Ritual and I started taking them, I love the flavor, the peppermint flavor. So they're very refreshing. They don't make me feel nauseous at all. And I love that they have everything that women need. I love that they're created by a woman. I actually listened to her explain how they're very transparent on the website about the science behind these and uh, where they come from, where all of the ingredients come from. So you can see it's a combination of oily and dry ingredients in these two pills. So you take two every day and it has, you know, vitamin E, vegan omega-3s, which is from algae, and then iron and magnesium and folate and vitamin K and vitamin B. So everything that you would want in a multivitamin and they're just easy and amazing and they make me feel great. So I thought I would share with you and also share that I do have a code for 10% off. So you can find that in my description. If you're looking for a good multivitamin, definitely check them out. They also have prenatals that are amazing too. And look into their ingredients because they don't have any sketchy ingredients. So, okay, so moving on to my next thing, once I kind of have a chance to have a little hygiene routine, which I recently did a video on that as well, then Byron is building these beautiful barn doors. 
but we are constantly upgrading all of you know the animals enclosures and then this spring we are building pasture so that they can graze on our hill and we're really excited for that because we want them to be able to graze we love to see them just roaming around the property and it's better for them to free range when there is a designated area especially the goats and the chickens so we're very excited to be working on that this spring So after this, I get started with the distance learning routine with Oliver, and he does do Zoom, so he's still doing distance learning with his school right now. We're still kind of up in the air about what's happening for next year, but this year we're sticking with this, and then we're also adding some things to the curriculum just to keep him stimulated and excited and interested in learning. So we're having fun with our microscope that we got for Christmas and uh, just, you know, keeping busy, enjoying learning. And then I usually try to make myself some sort of healthy, something I can reach for. One of my favorites, especially when it's cold outside, is veggie soup from the garden. So I wanted to share this recipe with you because it's really easy. I usually start with just a little bit of olive oil, a chopped onion, I've got some thyme and rosemary from the garden. And I just, uh, I also have some garlic. Just lightly brown that. And then I add some carrots. Sometimes I'll add chopped potatoes at this point as well, but today I'm just keeping it carrots and uh, I had some Swiss chard from the garden that I wanted to add as well. So whatever we have, if we have cabbage, I'll use that. My favorite is to make homemade sourdough bread to have with this for dinner, but today I'm actually just gonna have this for lunch and we always have plenty of leftovers, so it's something that anyone can reach for. Uh, Byron ended up eating this later that night. Um, this is really easy and healthy, and it's also something you can switch up and change, use the base, and but use what you have. So um, yeah, it's always nice to have some of this in the refrigerator so that you could just heat it up and anybody who wants it can grab it. We make homemade bone broth and veggie broth to freeze. I'd like to learn how to pressure can it, but for now that's just how we go about we go about it. So we always have some that we can use. We end up eating tons of it. My kids really enjoy it as well, but it's my favorite to have uh, available, especially on a cold day. It's just so comforting to have a nice big bowl or two or three of veggie soup, and you can pretty much eat as much of it as you want because it's just so good for you and so clean. Once the kids go down for their quiet time, or really my youngest, my oldest, he has uh, some work that he does on his iPad as a part of his curriculum. So he does that, and then I try to get any chores that I need to get done, laundry, uh, picking up around the house, tidying up. I love to listen to an audiobook while I'm doing this, which really helps the time pass, and it's something for me to focus on, and I love audiobooks that I usually get from the library. I'm actually taking some artwork that was on uh, like our back door from Christmas that the kids did. I'm just taking that down now. I'm gonna put that in their little art book where I save most of their art. Not all of it, but the majority of it I try to save. And then I'm just gonna clean up. There's always stuff everywhere. Like things just need to be put back in their spot. Every day my husband and I are always sort of picking up, trying to clean up, and it just doesn't ever stay clean. <laughs> so we just do the best we can, try to get our indoor and outdoor chores done as best as possible, but I promise you it never looks perfect all at once. Uh, maybe one day it will, but for now we're just, uh, you know, just doing the best we can.
Once I get the daily indoor chores done, then it's sort of kind of my free time. I uh, have been incorporating journaling a lot more into my routine, although I've always liked to journal. I just got this new bullet journal for Christmas from my sister-in-law, Melanie. I have pages for creative ideas, projects I want to get done. I also have a page for a body journal. This year I started incorporating journaling about how I'm feeling in my body. Just because I've noticed some more PMS symptoms after I've had children that I really wanted to understand my body. I get more emotional, you know, and and things start to kind of build. I get back pain. And so I really tune into my body and notice when I journal where I'm at in my cycle and I can give myself the self-care that I need. I definitely turn up the volume on self-care. That's usually when I take a bath, right in that time period when I'm starting to notice. That's when I start to stretch a lot more, drink a lot more water, and just really cut sugar. And then I also like to make my personal goals, relationship goals, reading goals, business goals. I write it all in this journal. And maybe I'll watch some videos on how to do some pretty bullet journaling, but for right now it's just, it's a place for me to kind of scribble out my thoughts. I have a few different things I like to do when I do get some free time. One of them is reading. So I love to read health and wellness books, botany books, uh, herbal studies, science. There's a lot of different things I enjoy reading about. So I'll either pick a book or I'll go back into my studio. I've been writing a lot more music. I want to release some new music soon. Since I am a few days away from that time of the month, I am noticing that I'm experiencing the lower back pain, the feeling a little emotional, just not feeling amazing. So I'm really going to tune into self-care. I like to take an Epsom salt bath. I realize I only ever really take baths when I'm PMSing, so once or twice a month maybe. Uh, There's nothing quite like an Epsom salt bath. And when you're not feeling well, uh, when you're not feeling your best, a nourishing bath is amazing, which was definitely the inspiration behind why I created Pacific Time Bath Bombs, which have Epsom salt in them as well, but they have organic essential oil blends that I love. Orange frankincense and black pepper is my favorite when my body's feeling weak. But then, of course, the very special 100 milligrams of CBD works synergistically with the essential oils to just give you the most relaxing bath time experience. So we create them with very minimal ingredients. And for those of you that don't know, these are made, handmade in Anaheim. So the process is not in my home. It's created in a lab. I've been asked a lot if I make these in my home, but they're made in small batches, handmade, so that they maintain their freshest, and then they're shipped out to you. And then they're measured, so the CBD, so to make sure that each bath bomb has 100 milligrams of CBD. So I just thought I would insert a little footage here so you can see the process of how my bath bombs are made. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's something that I use whenever I need relief. And I really appreciate those of you who have supported and the positive feedback I've gotten about them because I believe in them so much and I know how amazing they are, but it's amazing to hear from those of you who have purchased them, even given them as gifts to people who struggle with chronic pain and how amazing a CBD soak feels and the benefits of it, but also when you get out, how great your skin feels. And it was nice to hear that feedback because that's my favorite part too, is that you don't get out with dry, itchy skin. Your skin feels and looks beautiful after as well so so these bath bombs are very precious to me and they're I treat them like gold so it's like once a month I take a deep CBD soak and it just feels incredible when your body is in need of that there's nothing like that relief that you feel that relaxation so reading a book in a bath is my favorite when I need that and then I also like to pop out of the bath and head into the shower just for a really quick like 10 second cold rinse and then move into a 10, 15 minute stretching routine. So like I've said before, every day my free time and what I choose to do with my free time looks a little bit different. Some days I don't really get any free time, it just kind of depends. But on days when I'm in tune with what my body needs, I'm gonna lay low and focus on self-care.
I did a video recently where you can follow along on a full stretching routine or just kind of an example of what a stretching routine might look like for me. I don't practice yoga from a spiritual perspective, but I love a lot of the yoga moves and I mix a combination of yoga, Pilates, uh, you know, dance stretches that I used to do when I used to take dance class, things like that. And honestly, whatever feels good in my own body, especially when I'm not, you know, my body's feeling a little achy. So that's what I'm focusing on lately is just really deep stretches, holding those stretches for a long period of time and feeling that relief. It makes a huge difference when I consistently stretch. So even if I don't get a chance to do it every day, it's definitely something I tune into when my body is needing it. So that's what I'm gonna do today, deep breaths. Oh, I love a good stretch. We're starting to get some rain. It's been sort of sporadic. So in the middle of the day, we got uh, a little bit of rain. So I went outside, I check on the animals, see how they're doing. Just have another moment in nature, really trying to get out a few times in the day. So usually morning in the middle of the day and at night is, or right before the sunset. So usually after dinner, once we get the boys settled, they like to watch a show after dinner and then we do showers and bedtime. So I don't, I'm not showing the entire day, obviously, but usually when I get a time to do scrolling on Instagram, which is probably my favorite social media, I try to keep it really inspiring all on there because I know it can get kind of toxic on the internet. So I keep it to like homeschool inspiration. Uh, I can add to the curriculum, keep learning exciting. I also like to follow some health and wellness tips, state parks, uh, astronomy. <laughs> I love, I, I share this, all this stuff in my stories too of like what I am looking at and feeling inspired by animal posts, women who are trying to kind of stay all natural. And then um, I also like designers and I've been learning to sew. So that's been fun. I follow people who have tutorials on how to sew and just supporting different artists. And then, um, on this day, my niece and nephew came over for dinner. Since it had rained and it wasn't very windy, we decided to do an outdoor fire with the kids. And then uh, we like to look at the telescope and we look at the stars and the moon and our sky view app, which is fun to see the stars. And then once they left, Byron likes to do gaming at night. So when he's doing gaming, I go back and either work in my studio or read or watch a documentary. I love the creative mind edge of the universe, uh, my octopus teacher on Netflix. I just love those types of documentaries. Sometimes it depends on uh, what I do after the kids go to sleep. I'm using my blue glasses, of course, so that I don't strain my eyes while I'm watching TV. And I make sure to turn off the TV so I go to sleep. I don't go to sleep with it on. But anyway, that completes this video. Huge thanks to Ritual for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in trying their supplements out, use my code for 10% off. And yeah, I'd love to know what you guys have been doing for quarantine. How are you keeping yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually strong during this time and healthy? And yeah, what does your routine look like while you're at home? Leave that in the comments below and I'll see you very soon. Bye.